Space engineers has displeased me. I don't want to play space engineers anymore. I got a lot of hours in it. Actually, if we look at my Steam profile, here, let's look at it. Let's look. How many hours do I have in motherfucking space engineers? Where even is it anymore? It's not on my favorites list anymore. For the longest time, the longest time, space engineers is on my favorites list. Where even is it anyway? Oh, yeah, here we go. 922 hours. Now, in my limited budget of gaming time. Limited. I know some people can put 2,000 hours into a game and not even sweat it, right? That's not me. I can't put 1,000 hours into a game and then not sweat it. I used to work... Oh, God. I worked like 70 hours a week for about eight years. Right? I'm still working about, oh, 50-some-odd. Uh, right? I work. Motherfucker, I work! All right? And when I'm dealing with developers that are telling me they're going to fix shit, and then the shit don't get fixed! Over the 900 fucking hours I put into your goddamn game, I start to get a little bit pissed off. Just, just a little. Just a little. I was delighted to find recently. Now, I'm waiting for Starbase. I like I like the look of Starbase. I want to play Starbase, but Starbase isn't available yet. It's not yet launched into early access. I know. Early access games. Betas. By the way, Space Engineers was in beta for, what, four years? Four years before they finally said, all right, this is 1.0 launch. We're finally out of beta. Woo! They claimed to be out of beta. I don't think they ever actually made it out. But, uh, what am I really saying? Yeah, anyway, last month, Space Engineers was working okay. It was. It was working okay. I was delighted to find that Space Engineers actually worked okay. And we sp we fired up a server, uh, the Space Engineers pre-game server. And I said, all right, we're going to pre-game Space Engineers uh, by, you know, just... Uh, firing up a space engineer server and trying to kind of just get the space get the starbase community involved in the space engineer server you're never going to get another game that acts and looks and feels like starbase you're not even really going to approach it i don't think but uh i figured okay well that's a pretty good way to get the community at least involved in something a lot of these guys are space engineers players well it's got to be a good move right there get a whole bunch of space engineers players who are waiting for starbase all in the same Starbase community server. Ah, oh, good, great idea. And we had a game in there, and it was okay, but we had a lot of problems. I thought they were actually, for the most part, admin side problems. You know, ships randomly disappearing because the the uh, the because we had the settings wrong. We thought on the trash cleanup system. Turns out, no, it's just an issue with Space Engineers servers. They sometimes randomly delete delete shit. Especially if you've got Torch installed. Uh, especially if you've got uh, any sort of... You know, it's just... Torch is supposed to make all of that a lot easier and give you better admin tools. But sometimes they conf it conflicts weirdly with the native admin tools. And then shit gets deleted that shouldn't get fucking deleted. Yeah, we had a lot of that. We had a fuck ton of that. I really thought it was our fault, too. Now, fast forward. We're into Season 2, right? We tried to set up a new Space Engineer server... Right, put some planets in there and get people going on these planets. But now we've got these bugs. I swear to God, these are five-year-old bugs, like sticky connectors that lock your ship in place so you can't fly your fucking ship around. Uh, and we had uh, what else? Inventory glitches. I managed to dupe some materials because I couldn't I couldn't get things to move out of my inventory and into another inventory. Connectors wouldn't connect, uh, or, uh, you know, weird, just just strange stuff. And then, of course, we're trying to play on a planet surface, and what do we have? We've got rovers that want to sink into the into the surface of the planet and then go, go sailing through the center of the planet. You just end up dropping to the center. God, you know what? That was an issue two, three years ago when they originally launched planets. That was an issue. And I'm not just talking about modded planets here. I'm talking about vanilla planets will do this. Drop you right through the surface of the world. And you wind up God knows where. Nowhere. 
you know, it becomes, this is unplayable. Space engineers, fuck it. Keen Software House, the developers of Space Engineers, could go eat a fat bag of dicks. I ain't playing anymore. I've put my thousand fucking hours into space goddamn engineers, and I'm not putting another goddamn hour into it. Matter of fucking fact. You know what? We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. Fuck it. I built ships in this game. I contributed to the workshop. You know, I I, I I promoted the game. I know for a fact that a couple of you guys bought Space Engineers because I was hosting a server. And I know that at least one of the people that did that was very, very disappointed in how they couldn't get this weird-ass game to actually fucking work for them. I felt bad about that, man. Somebody put their money into this shit-ass game. I dare, Keen Software, motherfucking, you bastards, I dare you. I motherfucking triple dog dare you. Go find a four-year-old bug list. Go find one. It's probably, there's probably one in a spreadsheet or a Google Doc somewhere. You know, uh, dated, you know, 2015. Find a bug list from 2015. And then, compare that motherfucking bug list to the complaints that you see on your forum today. And just see how familiar that shit looks. I bet you, you're gonna see a whole lot of shit you don't like seeing. I bet you it's gonna look to you like you're making no goddamn progress, and that's exactly what it looks like to me, you motherfuckers. You keep fixing shit and then breaking it again. I don't even care about the 30 bucks I spent on the game, nor the 5 bucks I recently spent on DLC for the game. It's the thousand fucking hours I put into a game that's supposedly in development and supposedly actively supported by supposed developers, which, by the way, has not resulted in a playable motherfucking game. It is not a consistently playable experience. Never has been. And, whole, and that entire promise that I sunk a thousand fucking hours into never materialized. I never will again, ever host another Space Engineer server, nor will I ever recommend that anyone ever play that stupid game. Because it will never reach a state where it is consistently motherfucking playable. Because it isn't now, it wasn't five years ago, and all that intervening five years, there have been intermittent moments when the game was worth playing. And I'm not going to ask anyone to spend $30 on that shit. So, if you're wondering why it is that I have chosen to move my space engineer or my, my Starbase pregame over to Imperion Galactic Survival, a game which, in my opinion, actually, uh, in terms of, uh, actually, I think, I think Imperion is probably inferior to the game that Space Engineers is supposed to be. The difference is that Imperion actually works. It actually motherfucking works. That's the difference. Imperion works. It functions. <sighs> all right. So, with all of that said, all of that very, very pleasant material rattled off, I would like to announce that I will be hosting an Imperion server until Starbase launch. When Starbase launches... We might keep the server up if anybody's still interested in it, but probably we're going to let it go because, you know, Starbase. Um, we're not playing any game with this. We're not, you know, we're not going to make a victory points a thing or anything like that. Um, that didn't go well last time with uh, Space Engineers. I, I'm just, I'm just, I will not ever run a Space Engineers server again. I'm not going to join any Space Engineers servers. You know, um, Asajj, yeah, let's see, you know, you remember Asajj Fleetworks? It's this guy from, from Asajj Fleetworks. He's recommended this server called Sigma Draconis, and they've got this Discord. 
Um, and he says that they are perfectly willing to host people from the Starbase community if we all want to go in there and do our pre-gaming in Space Engineers on their server. If you really want to play Space Engineers, if you're married to the idea of playing Space Engineers on a Space Engineers server, talk to Asajj and talk about this Sigma Draconis thing. Join join their Discord. And you can pre-game Starbase on, on a Space Engineers server if you really want. But if you want to play with me, if you want to play on uh, the Harborman pre-game server, you're going to be playing Imperion. Because Imperion actually works consistently. And when the Imperion devs fix things, they get fixed. Like, they fix things that actually fix. Once in a while, I've actually seen in their... In their notes, in their in their in their patch notes. Oh yeah, this bug came back up again. We kind of rebroke this thing, but now I think we've got a we think we've got a permanent fix for it now, right? What do they do when something breaks? They dig in and they try to find the root causes of why it broke. I think Keen Software House, honestly, I honestly think that they have so completely lost the plot of how their own game is put together. I do not think they know how their own code works. I don't believe they know how it works. I think that they actually break things and reintroduce four-year-old bugs because they do not understand their own software. Holy mother of shit. I will never again give those people money. M mostly, mostly. I will never, I regret really giving them my time. And I really regret wasting anybody else's time on that shitty-ass game made by that dumbass developer. Keen Software House, please, please, I implore you, do look at one of your 2015 bug lists and compare that to what you're experiencing now. I think that that will be edifying to you. And if you learn nothing from that, then please, sit yourself down Add a big heaping plate of dicks and just start eating. And I'll tell you when you can stop. End of video.